What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ. Today we're going to talk about the New York Rangers calling up top prospect JT Miller, the 19 year old from East Palestine, Ohio, from the AHL, one of the youngest players in the AHL this year, to play uh, tonight against uh, the Devils at the Rock. And so, you know, big moment for the Rangers. Obviously, traded away Mike Rupp. They needed a big body in the lineup. Miller, 6'2, uh, 200 pounds. You know, big kid. You know, they tried to make the move for Jason Arnett. That didn't work. And I think they're looking for a, a spark, some youthful enthusiasm. From uh, from the young Ohio native, former Plymouth Whaler and United States national team development program alum, you know he, he's that one hell of a player, and he's really gonna he's gonna play his role. He's got 20 points through seven, through 37 games uh, in the AHL with Connecticut, which for a 19 year old is outstanding. Minus eight, but you know that's par for the course with young players in in that first season of pro hockey. But I think he's gonna bring you know spark to that lineup. You know he's you know that four and four of the Rangers. You know they've. You know the Islanders have been playing well. The Devils have been playing outstanding hockey, and obviously the Penguins are in front of them in the standings as well. I mean, you know they've got to do something, and I think that he's going to be a, a big factor. I don't know exactly how Torres is going to use him. I think he can play a third line role. I think he can ride shotgun with some of the, with some of the more skilled guys. I think this is a time for him to step up and seize his moment. You know the Rangers have one of the most American led teams in the league. Uh, you know with Kreider with. Step on uh, Delzato, Boyle, all those guys, but you know th- it's his moment, um, and you know I hope he captured it. You know it's kind of a surreal moment for him to be skating in the in Newark against the biggest rival on the road. Um, then I'm trying to think when the Rangers are at home again, but look it up right now. But you know I, I think it's I think it's a good move. They are uh, Islanders on Thursday at the Garden. I mean the two biggest rivals are going to be the first two games in the NHL to keep up. I think it'll be. I think this is a three or four game look for him. And if he plays well, he stays. If not, he goes back to Connecticut and uh, and you know does his thing down there in the AHL until he's ready. And you know, if you see my prospect profile, and I'll, I'll repost it uh, from last year. You know, I'm really high on the kid. I like I like his instincts. He was great in the World Juniors. Played a few different roles. Played out of position. He's a winger. who's playing center. You know, understands the nuances of playing sound defensive hockey. This kid isn't going to be an offensive superstar right away. I mean, I think he projects a 50, 60 point guy if he really reaches his potential. But I think you know, power forward guy, a la. Dwight King last year with the LA Kings really bringing a spark to that lineup. If you notice how much better they played uh, down the stretch than I've seen the playoffs, he, he came up big for them a few times. You know, bringing some size and uh, some snarl. You know, Miller doesn't have that exact snarl. He's got 27 pims through uh, 37 games down there, and he had, he had 61 pims in 61 games last year. So, in uh, in the OHL, so I mean, he's got some snarl. I mean, he's not the like I said the most tenacious guy. But I think he's a big body that can definitely help out. And like I said, the Rangers need a spark, and I think he's going to be the one that does it. This is a statement game. You hate to say that this early, but in a shortened season, eight games in, you know, you project it to be one of the best teams in the East, or the best team in the East, I should say, and you're at 500. You know, you need something, and I think Miller's going to give you that. You know, really give him a, like, I keep reiterating, spark and youthful enthusiasm, but those are the two key words. Um, and I think he's going to play well. I think he's going to be a big factor. And he's, there's a reason he was a, the 15th overall pick in 2011. He's one hell of a player, and Rangers fans are going to see that firsthand tonight. Anyway, that's all I got in this episode of the Power Play with CJ on the New York Rangers calling up JT Miller. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the season and beyond. Later, guys.